Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another Flatsome Team tutorial. My name is Sebastian, also known as Seb de la Web, and today I'm going to teach you how to properly install the Flatsome Team inside your WordPress installation. A uh, few of the important things that we're going to cover today is where do you uh, buy or download the theme? Well, the only place uh, where you can find it is on TeamForce by Envato. There are also a lot of uh, free download websites. I highly recommend, recommend don't do this because you're going to install and upload crazy files on your server. And especially when you're running an e-commerce business, don't try to save money because maybe there's going to be some shady business stealing money, having corrupt files. So invest at $59 and get this amazing team. Also, I'm going to show you how to work with the Flatsome license registration because with the late, one of the latest updates, you, do, you now need to register your domain and connect it to your Flatsome uh, theme. And in this case, you can even get the auto update function. Also, I'm going to show you how to properly install the Flatsome child theme because that is a really important step as well. So further ado, let's get started. Let me close this. And now, as you can see, we're just having a clean WordPress installation and this theme is uh, the basic uh, team that you get by WordPress and which which uh, with each big update of WordPress, they have their own um, default team. But now we want to replace this, of course, with the Flatsome team. So what you need to do is even if you search on uh, download Flatsome, uh, you will get redirected on TeamForce. Like again, there are some different websites offering free stuff, but go to the Team Forest page, then buy a license. Um, I already have a lot of licenses. So once I've done this, I can easily go to downloads. And as you can see, a lot of Flatsome licenses out there. And what you need to do now is click on downloads and then go for the all files and document and all files and documentation. Don't go only for the install installable WordPress files only because that won't include the child team. It's an important step. So take this one and then it will download it to your downloads folder or on your desktop. And I'm just going to show you how that looks. So once you have installed and unzipped the file, it will look something like this. And here you can go to the team files and here you can find the two files that you will need to upload on your WordPress website. So let's go back to WordPress, close the Team Forest page, go to appearance, click on add new, and maybe it looks a little bit different based on your language, but here on appearance teams, then click on add new. Then you can see a lot of these free templates, but we wanna upload our own team, click on upload team, click on choose file, and then we need to go to our uh, team files folder. And now I'm going to upload the main mother team. Don't go off, start off with the child team. Always choose the uh, main team first. So done. Click on the button install now. We'll take some time. Sometimes there will even be like an upload limit. If that's the case, you need to uh, ask your hosting company to increase or maximize the upload uh, limit. Okay, once I've done this, don't click on activate because we don't wanna activate this team. We wanna activate the child team. So we're going back to appearance. And as you can see, the main team is installed now. I'm going to click on add new again. Upload team, same step, and then click on choose file. And now I wanna select the child team. Click on the button install now. And this is the one you want to activate. So again, going to appearance, as you can see, the WordPress default team is still selected as the active team, but we want to activate the child team. And it's always really difficult for me to explain the difference, but I'm going to try it anyway. So here you have the folders. I'm going to unzip it, unzip them. And as you can see, taking this one out, these are the two files that you have uploaded on your server. And as you can see, this one includes all the files of your team and the child team doesn't include much, only the functions.php and the style.css. Um, the main reason why you wanna work with the Flatsome child team is because 
a lot of developers or maybe you uh, are going to include some extra functionalities or uh, modify some uh, stuff from the team and that's the and that's where you use the child team for so in that case when you're updating the main team it won't affect the child team or do i say it correct yeah <laughs> if you update your uh, uh the main team it won't affect the modified your custom files in the child team so in that way you're update ready and you're only modifying important stuff inside inside your child team it's always difficult to explain but this is the way to go maybe you won't even use much of your child team but especially when you're working with developers or people that are wanna you know modify more stuff uh, from the team this is the way to go so one of the important things that i always uh, recommend is also to delete all the other teams. I can see that with a lot of customers, they're having a bunch of teams, they try different things, but I like to keep it as clean as possible. And I, I'm not sure if this is the case, but I think the more files you have on your server that you don't need, it will affect in some way uh, your, you know, your setup and maybe even uh, having a, a bad result in terms of safety or speed. So I'm going to click on this WordPress theme and here there's a little button, delete. I'm going to click on it, click on OK. And now we are only having these two teams left. Um, by default, if you installed the Flatsome team, and it doesn't matter if you uh, activated the child team or the main team, it will give this little notice saying, OK, do I need to install the contact form 7, social login, WooCommerce and the wishlist? So this is a recommendation by Flatsom. They are working in a lot of cases with these plugins. And of course, WooCommerce is the uh, plugin that you will need to activate your e-commerce website. So that's probably the only one that you are going to use. And if you want to use the wishlist, go forward with that. Uh, it's, a, it's a personal thing, but I don't use Contact Form 7 for my plugins. And I also don't use the social login a lot. So in in most cases, I always click on dismiss this notice because when I click on this little cross and I refresh again, it will just give me the notice again. So you really need to click on dismiss this notice. Once we have done this, we're now ready. We have downloaded the latest version of the child team and I want to make sure that I will be, uh, uh, I want to uh, connect my team to my license. So I will be um, having, I will have my team ready for auto updates in the future. So I'm going to Flatsome, I'm going to team registration. And here, as you can see, the purchase code field is still empty. So what I wanna do is click on manage your licenses, and then it will take me to all my licenses that I have. And as you can see, I've purchased a lot of them. And as you can see as well, uh, these are saying not reg registered. So these licenses are not connected to any domains yet. And those, uh, as you can see, they are connected already. And Flatsome has a kind of a system. Uh, if you click on more details, nope, going back. Here it is, uh, search documentation. They're having, they're having some rules in terms of how many domains you can connect. So if you click on team license registration and you scroll a little bit down, you can see that the um, that by default, uh, each license uh, can set up five local domains and three staging sites and one public site. I'm going to show you that. So when I click on one of the activated uh, licenses, you can see I'm having uh, one public domain, three staging domains and five local domains. And as you can see, I have zero left for one public domain because it's already connected to a main domain. Then they're having some rules as well. So uh, for staging domains, they have worked or they integrated the, the most uh, famous hosting websites. So uh, immediately when it includes one of these domains, it will auto recognize it as a staging domain. Scrolling a little bit down, you can also put test in front of your main domain. Meaning, uh, as you can see here, I'm having web. And that will recognize it as well as a staging domain. So in this case, you have you can have one license and try it out for different staging domains and having one public domain. So that's a good thing to know. 
And then we are also having local domains. So when you're building this on a local server uh, on your uh, on your computer, you can also connect it uh, with these local domains. Okay, hope that makes sense. Let's now register this domain. So it's test.septelaweb. And as you can see, I'm having a few more left. So let me click on it. And to reveal it, I need to click on this one and probably it will auto copy it. You don't really see it, unfortunately, but it is copied now. So then I go back and then I can paste it in and then I can, I need to check mark the confirm button, click on register. And now you can see the site is registered. Thank you. And Flatsum is ready for the one click updates. So that's really good. Uh, I can now also go to appearance and once a uh, team update is ready, uh, I can now um, click on enable auto updates and then it will get auto updated. So that's really good. So I think I covered now the most important step uh, telling you where to find it. Go to team for us. Don't go out there. Try to download it for free. Uh, I showed you how to upload the zip file and activate the child team, including the main files. And I also showed you how to register your domain, connect it, uh, put in the serial key and then click on register. And then you're able to uh, auto update your team uh, and make it future proof. So thank you for watching. If you just started off with your um, um, e-commerce or your professional web design career, um, you can go to Sep de la Web. Let me show you. Very proud. My background is a graphic design. So I create custom templates for Flatsome, uh, pre-packed designs. So if you're interested, have a look at Sep de la Web where you can find some amazing designs that you can install in just a few minutes. And I also having a tutorial section where you can find much more information on how to make the best of the Flatsome team. Also make sure uh, to follow our YouTube channel. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and then I uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.